Welcome to the tutorial on using the Dictate and Transcribe features in Microsoft Word. These speech-to-text features are easy to use, save a lot of time, and allow you to produce your best work. They are also free for all UW students using an Office 365 account. To get started, open a web browser such as Microsoft Edge, Firefox, or Chrome. Then log into your Office 365 account. Choose Microsoft Word from the list of web apps and create a new document. We will first go over how to use the Dictate feature. The Dictate feature in Microsoft Word lets you use speech-to-text to create content with the use of a microphone and a reliable internet connection. To get started, open your new document, go to Home, and then select Dictate. First-time users will be asked to enable their microphone settings. Wait for the microphone to turn on to ensure that it is listening. You will know it is working when you see a red microphone in the movable toolbar at the bottom of your screen. Now you may begin your dictation. You can fix mistakes using your keyboard or the dictation suggestions provided. Additionally, you may enter punctuation at any time by saying them explicitly. To see the full list of punctuation phrases, go to the toolbar, select the help icon, then select punctuation. The dictate feature is also available to use in 20 different languages. To change your language settings, head over to the toolbar, select the gear icon, and then select your language. You may also turn on auto punctuation to allow Word to add punctuation for you. To exit the Dictate feature, close the toolbar or select Dictate in the ribbon again. The following are a list of voice commands that you may want to use while editing and formatting your content. To review the full list of voice commands, review the handout in the Assistive Technology section on Learn. As mentioned before, the Dictate tool currently supports the following list of languages. Please note that the preview languages may have lower accuracy and punctuation support. To ensure that the dictation tool runs as smoothly as possible, remember to do the following things. First, you will want to ensure that you have a fast and reliable internet connection. The dictate feature is most compatible with the following web browsers, Microsoft Edge, Firefox, and Chrome. Make sure you're signed in with your Office 365 account. If you are using a Windows system, make sure you have Windows 10 or higher. When you open the document, make sure that it is not in a read-only state. Ensure that you have accepted permissions within your browser to use the microphone. Check to see if your microphone is muted. Lastly, avoid and eliminate any background noise that might interfere with your voice. Next, we will go over how to use the transcribe feature in Microsoft Word. The transcribe feature allows you to save time by creating an automatic transcript from the audio that is recorded or uploaded into Word. It also distinguishes speech among different speakers. To get started, go to Home, Select the drop-down menu beside Dictate, and then select Transcribe. You will have the option to either upload an audio you pre-recorded or to start recording. In this tutorial, I will create my own recording. Wait for the pause icon to be outlined in blue and for the timestamp to start incrementing to know that the recording has begun. Once you have finished recording, select Save and Transcribe Now. It may take a few moments for your audio to transcribe. Once this is completed, you will see a full transcript of your recording with different speakers automatically separated. To hear your results, press play or select a particular timestamp. You may also edit specific lines of text and names of speakers by selecting the pencil icon next to a timestamp. To insert text in your document, select Add to Document or click the plus sign next to any timestamp.
To exit the transcribe feature, select the close button at the top right corner of the transcribe pane. Alternatively, you may begin a new transcription by selecting New Transcription at the bottom of the transcribe window. Transcribe works with the language that you have set as your editing language in Office. However, it is currently only fully supported in English. To ensure that the transcribe feature runs as smoothly as possible, ensure that you do the following things. You will first need to make sure that you have a fast and reliable internet connection. Transcribe only works on the new Microsoft Edge and Chrome browsers. Make sure that you are signed into your Office 365 account. Enable microphone permissions within your browser. If you are creating a recording, ensure that you have selected the correct microphone input on your device. If you forget to do this, the recording may pick up the wrong audio. Transcription may take a while depending on your internet speed. Make sure you leave the transcribe pane open while a transcription is being made. If you are looking to transcribe a virtual call, don't use a headset. That way, it can pick up sounds coming out of your device. Thank you for watching this tutorial video on dictating and transcribing in Microsoft Word. For more information, please visit the resources below.